Hello and welcome to the late model at Oxford Plains. It's a new vehicle for me. I wanted to uh, practice some short track racing, get more comfortable on these tinier tracks, and uh, decided that the late model would be a good fit for me, learning the way a stock car gets around. I was considering also the uh, Wellen Modifieds, I think that's what we're called, Wellen Modifieds. Green, um, green, green. But okay. I think I want to learn more how these stock cars work. So, here we are. Feeling pretty good. It's amazing to me. This thing's, like, I guess it's because it's so uh, underpowered. It's, uh, you don't even need to use the brakes at this tiny little track. It's amazing. Never would have expected that. So, um, you kind of just, once you're off the gas, the car pulls to the left really nicely. And, uh, I've kind of just been feathering the throttle as we're heading through the corners, just feeling it out. It was not smooth at all the way I did that, but I think it was a pretty decent lap. Just gotta keep near that bottom. Don't overdrive it. You know, I think I did <laughs> for that qualifying. But uh, just keep those left sides near this edge and without hitting that edge like that. It's not going to kill you or anything, but it's not fast to be running over the bumps. So, yeah. See there, I got on a little bit too soon and gave me green for a second, but not ideal. I want to wait on it a little bit. Oh, wow, look at that. 15-7. That's pretty good. And we tied with the number one car. That's funny. Shouldn't I... Okay. Okay, yeah. So the iRacing does track, like, further beyond the 8-4-0 that we see. I always used to think that it was, like, the higher iRating guy gets the higher spot. But I think it actually does record the numbers. I would love to start on the inside, that's for sure. I'm a little nervous about getting stuck on the outside, not only because it's going to shuffle me back, but um, it's kind of hard to s There's like no visible lanes on the track, really. You got here, and then I guess the lane would be like here. And it's just kind of like hard to tell where you are on the track on the back over here. I've only raced here, I think, like one other time. I can't even remember what it was for. I think I was like in the street stocks here or something a while back. That's the only time I've ever been here. Very interesting course. Um, it's basically, uh, it's almost just straight up a circle. <laughs> it's a little bit oblong. I mean, here's a picture of it right here. But it's pretty darn close to being just a straight up circle. So P3, awesome, and everyone qualified. Man, nice. First time in the late model, and uh, people are making it look good. Because... Everyone's ready to go. It's good stuff. Close Hopefully it'll be a good race. Close. It is like the Arca series in that there are no cautions. Hopefully we'll be able to keep it going straight. I'm going to keep my foot near the brake pedal. Um, even though there's no really necessary no uh, need to hit the brakes to enter the corner. Um, but I want to make sure I'm not running people over either. So i got to be ready to get on the brakes. I hope the people behind me have that same thought process. Give each other room. Hopefully it'll be good. And maybe get come more comfortable with short tack racing. That's a, that's why I'm here. Here for good fun racing and uh, to improve on these shorter tracks. The uh, race crash cry... Anyway, improve on these uh, shorter tracks. The race craft of it. And... Uh, the track temp is oh. one. Oh, maybe learn from some guys too. See how it goes. Follow car number four. These the sounded line. pretty good. Lucked out and got the inside. Despite not getting pole. Looks like uh, the rev limiter is at seven, seven five hundred. Okay, good to know. Stuff like that I still am not too familiar with, so. Uh, it did seem like tires might be a thing. So I don't know how much I'm going to need to save tires. I really don't know how to... Oh my god. 
don't really know how I'm going to go about that. That guy's taking up both lanes just so he can warm his tires. One to go. Next time by. Okay. I'm not bothering with that. Maybe I should be. At least with the brakes. Warming them up or something. But, uh, never really done any of that before. Anyway, watching the leader. Hopefully we'll be able to green. get a good jump. Stay focused. That's okay. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. Car outside. Yeah, on the inside of the two. Are the people in second? Outside is clear. Oh Outside. shoot! Stay it's, low. Ugh, Stay getting low. on the, there a car on the apron there. I had to now lift off for him. You're Didn't want to come over. Right now. The next car's the leader. He's like getting sideways. Holy cow! Not there, so I can't just drive it in on him. He made a mistake though, so we're coming in. Knock knock, coming in. Open the door, get on the floor, everyone walk the dinosaur. So on. Hey, well that's my first lap lead in the late model. First race ever. Oh. Going pretty well. I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure it's low strength of field. It's uh, midday, but not too many people were signed up. I'm probably overdriving is probably what's happening. I just thought about that, because, uh... The guy behind has just done a 16.1. Like I said, the tire wear did seem to be a thing, but I think the track position's gonna be nice. Until we get punted out of the way. <laughs> I hope I wasn't too aggressive. I wasn't trying to be. I was just, uh, taking advantage of, uh, the open... the bottom line being open. Whenever I could. We do have a uh, gentleman coming up here. Hopefully he will uh, get out of our way. Obviously, we're going to need that bottom line. So, hopefully he's nice to us. Your last lap time was at 16.0. I'm almost guaranteed to be running, uh, burning the tires off. That lap was at so I'm not gonna get any, uh, I'm not gonna get a big head about anything. I'm probably gonna learn a, a big lesson about, uh, tire saving and short tracks. I'm not even sure how you would even go about it. So it seems pretty fast. It must have been wrecked. It's got good pace. Trying to be patient on the throttle. And keep uh, close to that inside. This one does. This is fun, though. I could definitely see becoming a bigger fan of short tracks through uh, this series. I'm already loving this purchase, because uh, even practicing was good fun. Going to Oxford Plains, a place that I I haven't really had the chance to race too much before. Watched other guys do it, made it look pretty fun, and so here we are. Um, we got some space behind us, but again, we're all not even halfway through, so I'm going to be wishing I'd save tires, probably. That's good consistency. Keep it up. This guy <laughs> just ate all what over. What a the... jackass, Andrew. That was a fucking dick and a half move, bro. For real? Oh. It sure doesn't fucking look like it, dude. Like, how the fuck are you gonna drive off in there that deep on someone? What's happening? People are angry. I'm scared. What a clown, bro. Listen, man. I apologize, alright? I didn't do it on purpose. I get it. My bad. Like, you were faster than me, dude. You obviously got rattling. Uh, are you going to wreck him like you wreck me uh, during the last round? Thank you, eight. Just make sure I'm making him get that air, maybe stop the argument a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Just gotta yell at each other. 
just really focused right now. I'm trying to make sure I'm not overdriving, trying to... Uh, kind of thinking about tires, like, I don't know how I'd save it other than just not overdriving it. But, uh, trying to do my best to at least accomplish that. Seems like all there is to it is, uh, making sure you're entering at the right pace and keeping the bottom line, making sure you're, uh, getting a good exit. Can't believe, I just, I still can't believe you don't use brakes here. I wonder if that's, a uh, common thing with this car, like it's mostly just lifting. I mean, that kind of just reminds me of <laughs> driving the mile and a half that I know all so well. So a lot of times that's all about just throttle management and heck, if that's what this is, I'm going to enjoy this. Love that throttle management. I'm new. I've been driving for 10 minutes. I've been driving for 10 minutes. Me too, man. <laughs> I mean, not 10 minutes, but give just 30 minute practice ahead of time. I mean, it's it's not like I'm completely new to stock cars either. This obviously has a lot in common with other stock cars. Um, even like the Arca car and stuff. It's just uh, so much. Uh, what am I trying to say? So much less power. I think is one of the biggest things I'm noticing uh, when you, you can get on the gas so hard I hope it doesn't put me in any bad habits if I get back into like the Arca car at a short track or something kind of glad I did Southern National before That's I did this because uh, I feel like it would get me in the habit of smashing on the gas pedal more and uh, that's only gonna get me uh, in trouble in the right. this number one's coming Better shape up. Lap time was 16.4. Just let him get out of the way. Rutherford is really oh, Time for this. Goodbye. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside. Kind of being. Uh, I'm kind of fighting for the win here. Can't really uh, be dealing with that. One's gonna have to push me out of the way, I think. If he wants the win. Just done a 16 I mean, if he gets a nose on me, obviously I'm not All gonna right, just. Colton, pretty consistent. <laughs> I'm not just gonna turn in on him, but uh, I'm gonna protect the bottom the best I can. I mean, what else are you gonna do when you're driving here? That's the driving line. That lap was a 16.4. What if I should be uh, dragging the brake a little bit to get rotation? Something to that. I wonder. Oh man, he's coming though. Scared. Fearful. He already wrecked someone by a quote unquote accident. It's weird. It doesn't like feel like it's getting necessarily tighter, really. I mean, it probably is, and that's probably why I'm going slower because I have to let off more to get it turned how I want. But uh, it really just feels like it's going slower straight up. I stopped counting my last lap there. That was weird. You've just done a 16.4. So I'm, I'm wondering where he's getting time. I'm guessing it's just his tires are better. So there's that harsh lesson I was talking about I'm learning here soon. I don't think we're going to hold him off for another 10 laps, to be honest. But I will try. Smooth. Hopefully this guy will get out of our way. You know he's gonna go for it. So I hope at least he knows how to do it without crashing me. Outside. 
clear outside. That hurt him, I think. Great job. Ten to go. Oh, oh ten to go. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's no way I'm holding on to this. <laughs> I'm fighting so hard right now. Oh, I went tie. It was his opening, but he wasn't able to get there. Oh, this is intense. Oh, he's right there. Don't let him hit me. Step the corner and let the pressure get to me. That's not good. That's not good. And not let this pressure get to me. Still my bumper. Well, I wanted to learn short track racing. I'm about to learn what it's all about here in a couple laps. Because I know he's going to send it. Like I said, I just hope he's able to do it without crashing me. Five to go. Five to go. Hey, he might be just biding his time waiting for me to uh, either make his mistake or have to give me my mistake. Make the mistake for me. Driving a little harder on. Uh... No, 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 no. You got it. You got it. Still there at the bottom. Keep high. Push, push, push. Over Two more. Let's go. I'm fighting. I don't want to give up. Still there. For a podium. Rutherford is leading the race. Clear inside. Oh God! Now I have to think about whether I'm going to do it or not. This is the white flag lap. White flag, okay, white flag. The next car is the lead up. Ah, good win. I couldn't hold you off. Yeah, that was fun, man. Thanks. Great drive. That's a I don't, know. I don't know if he's still in here now, but I feel bad. Good job. Very good job. Ooh. All right, but well, he passed us clean, so I wasn't about to just run into him. Right? Yeah, thanks for passing me clean, number one. Uh, I didn't want to just dump you after you did that for me, so not that I would dump anyone anyway, but uh, good win. I, I don't really dump anybody either unless they deserve it. He did, for sure. I think he kind of checked up more than what I thought he was going to. I got into him on entry, but it is what it is. All right. So we got ourselves a 0x, second place. Uh, first ever time in this car. That's pretty good, I think. I mean, I was the number two. I finished second, so I guess I just did what I was supposed to do. But uh, being able to jump in here for the first time and be able to pull it off, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So let me see tires. 77.85. So there probably was something the tire saving i probably should have been doing something about it maybe dragging the brake to get some rotation maybe i could have put the uh brake bias back even further and use that to get around or you know don't rely on eight to one as a crutch <laughs> to get the car turned that could have been something too but uh overall very happy with that uh, let's see uh what incidents happened out here we'll maybe see what uh happened between the one and whoever some contact. Stirring it up back there. Got some guys getting loose. I'm not quite sure.
really sure how you even do that, get loose on exit. I was pretty much full throttle. I guess if you got the wheel turned that much, maybe you could. But uh, my only concern would be maybe entering too hard and maybe spinning. I'm not sure. Okay, this is what happened here. This is the guy that uh, he ran into. Strangely, he was entering pretty high to begin with, so that's kind of a weird thing. I don't think the one did it on purpose, obviously, because he did grace us clean and uh, found a way to pass us without running into us. It does seem like the five maybe even used the brakes, and, you know, without... I don't think anyone else is using the brakes, so... That stinks, it's a bad situation, but... Oh no, the three almost got past it, but oh man, it caused a huge mess. He was. That was a big chain reaction. Not sure what's happening with the three. Nothing that looks like. Oh, this is the other guy that uh, was new to the car. Taking the monorail. <laughs> Alright, and this is lap 44. Ooh, six also taking the monorail. Just kind of misjudged it, I think. Seems like they're okay, though. And then after the checkered. That's pretty clean. That was pretty overall clean for short track racing. I was a little worried heading into the late model races and all that, that uh, it was going to be a lot of dive bombing and way over aggressive racing, but that was pretty good. I really enjoyed that. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing some more and getting uh, more acquainted with a lot of the short tracks on the service and uh, maybe improving my racecraft a little bit and getting better at uh, protecting that bottom line, which uh, I think we're going to go ahead and watch to that as well, how I lost it. It was just a case where I got on it too early and it opened the door for him. And I know what happened. I just, uh, and I was trying to prevent it. I just couldn't. He uh, held the bottom line better. There it was. I entered a little higher, even. Well, I think it was okay. I think it was just my tire grip was gone, and he was patient, because I know he was a lot faster. I got on it too hard here. I should have been more gradual. I kind of flat-footed it when I should have been more gradually. He was making me nervous. So, And then here, I know a lot of people would cut down and get themselves spun. I've seen it a hundred times watching incidents, and... Just watching other people race and have that situation. He doesn't technically have the nose on me, but you know he's sticking it in there. So my choices here were cut down in front of his braking zone and probably like 99% of the time get spun or concede it, try to fight on the outside, see what I can do from there. So that's what I did. I tried to keep it tight. Um, uh, still while leaving room, but... It's not quite. Couldn't quite do it. You're not going to be able to hold on the outside for long here, Oxford Plains. So, um, I get back in line. See if I have anything for him. Try to hit uh, at least the last lap. Try to hit it solid. Maybe he'll make a mistake, you know. He's been using me as the uh, reference point for a while, potentially. So, maybe he would miss his mark. But uh, I think it's pretty clear he was faster. Probably had better tires. Knew how to handle it better, so... I'm okay with that. P2. Got where I was supposed to, allegedly. But, uh, being in this car for the first time is pretty good. So, uh, enough rambling about the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope it was entertaining. And, uh, I'll see you in the late models again before too long, I'm sure, because that was pretty fun. See you there.